Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. I, of course, am D-Rod Jenkins, and when we last left off, Manny Calavera had made it to the wine cellar in search of Chow Chilla Charlie's missing suitcase of money. And, uh, of course, once we trade him the suitcase, he will give us a Maritime Union card. We will be one step closer to going after Meche. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm doing another one of these. It's been so long. So, anyway, let's dive right into it. So, you see the forklift. I mean, it's pretty obvious you have to do what you have to do is get this forklift. And there's not much, there's really not a whole lot to explore in this wine cellar because, as you can see, it's just a bunch of barrels of wine. So, we're just gonna get right on to it and move on through here. We are now on the elevator. And let me get off here, do a little U-turn, and I'll just show you this real quick. Now if you pay attention, here comes the elevator going up, Whoop. and you can walk around while you're on the elevator, and there's, what was that? Some weird little room, am I right or am I right? You know I'm right. And then this door leads back into the kitchen, which, since I just said that, we don't really need to go back in there since we've already seen it. So we'll go back down, and we have to go through the, excuse me, headphone was going ape. So we have to go back through this animation rolls, because it can't work the other way. But I will show you how to do this. Now you see when that cage goes down, you see those little holes. And for the life of me, when I was younger, I- can't I get through this door. Sorry. Um, for the life of me, when I was younger, I tried to get the further one, like the further, uh, cage holes, whatever you want to call them. I parked the forklift on that one to see if I could get it, and it just, it never works, because he has to get up on it, start it up, and then you have to get it in here, and there you go. And there's just not enough time for the other one, so you have to get on the closest one. Not really anything interesting to say about that. It's just something that I used to do as a kid is try to um, see if the fur the further end work. Further end work. What does that mean? Anyway, okay. So we're in this hole, and then you wind up in this weird little Aztec temple of some sort. <laughs> I never understood what this room was or how it was built, but it doesn't really matter because you go in here and you find the suitcase. Dios mío, it's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. And you don't even have to walk back with it because it automatically takes you here. Very, very convenient. And, uh-oh. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. So cool, Manny Calvera. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> <laughs> what a wise guy he is. Anywho. <laughs> so, for those who have seen these before, may have noticed a disparity between this episode and the last episode. I always love this. I don't think I did this. Was uh, Watch the cat races. Because if you stay here long enough, you get to hear them actually like announce the cat races. And down near the bottom of the screen, you can actually see cats running around. And they aren't actually talking. What's up Things with that? Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, <laughs> unfortunately. Nice. Uh, oh, wrong button. I'm still trying to remember all the button work. But uh, as I was saying, huge disparity. Disparity? What? No. Huge, uh, huge gap, if you will, between this episode and the last one. And the main reason being, um, personal reasons. 
And then I started doing the amnesia stuff, and that was pretty fun. But I'm still following the same format in that I basically sit down and play this game for about 15 minutes. Instead of doing uh, what I did in the Amnesia games, which is, uh, they aren't even talking. This poor, this game glitched out. Ah, there we go. I wanted to show you the, uh... Okay, we're just gonna watch this for a second, see how it does. Making up for lost time. One light left. And it looks like kitty kitty bang bang. And we'll actually follow Plus each race. Here comes a challenger, Cat Waddy's Wombop. Someone's gaining on the outside. It's one light left. Kitty the owl, losing ground. One light left, catching up. Mentioned something about around the bend or something. Hey, Ale Wale! Out of nowhere! It's a miracle! Kitty Kitty Bang Bang! In first place! <laughs> kitty Kitty Bang Bang! In second place! Cat Waddy's Wop Up! Kitty okay. Kitty Bang Bang! Coming around there, the back! There, there, yeah! They're the kitties! Look how huge move. they are! The loof poof! <laughs> These are all some good. Good cat names. Hey, Ale Wale. Oh no, she's gone down. <laughs> but I thought that was just cool, so we'll follow hey, the race. She's getting up, flicking herself off. <laughs> See, she gets back up. I mean, that's that's amazing that they paid that much attention to detail. What a race! So, but we've got we've got stuff to do, and so okay, uh, I had to restart the game and get back to where it was, so I'm not sure if I made it up to here, did all that stuff, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know. Okay, so let's get right down to it, get, get back to the focus of the game, which is trying to get all the uh, objectives complete in order to beat this part of the game. Excuse me. And, um, so we got the Maritime Union card. What we need next is, um, CB equipment, and... Da, 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 da. What else was there? Oh, we need to take Seaman on our house plays. It's just one of those things. I can't figure out which is... Which I should do next. Okay, he's going down. Which is actually... Well, it's right next to the, um, blue casket, so... Well, I guess we'll do the CB equipment. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is get the CB equipment. Mm. And in one of the earlier videos... Oh, my. <laughs> I forgot to turn Skype off. I hope, that, I hope that doesn't show up. Oh. You gotta love, you gotta love this shoddy work I do. Anyway. Um, okay, yeah. That's awesome. A little close up there. But um, when we were talking to Terry, one of the CBs... He, um, he was trying to find the right words to say about what was going on with how bad his job was and how, how rough the CBs have it, but he just couldn't do it. And so this is kind of the uh, precursor here. Let's, let's head on in. To the blue casket. Okay. And now, I remember a lot of times when, um, at a certain point in the blue casket, it actually locks up a lot, so I hope that doesn't happen, but, um, let's see, that F looked, damn it, hey, there we can go. I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, alright? No dice, Cumberbund. But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. 
Okay, and then, um, so these guys clearly think you're an uptight capitalist, doesn't know a thing about revolution, even though you're Agent Calavera, you are leading the revolution. But they don't know that. And a funny little thing you could do here is, uh, open Testing. mic. Testing. So. Uh, we'll do these. Alright! Who's ready to rock and roll? Maybe later then. Okay. <laughs> uh... So what is up with airplane food anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, it's so small and not that good. There's nothing funny about being dead, comrade. Life is pain, death is worse. My funny bone must have fell off in the hearse. Wah, wah. Oh, wow, well, you can ask about tools. Anyone out there know where I can find some tools? The only tool in here is you. Yeah, tool of the government, monkey wrench of the man. Is there an Anselmo Naranja in the audience tonight? He's down at Toto's place getting carved. If he's oh, not wow. passed out under a dock somewhere. That's actually a clue. He's, he really is going to, um... He's over at Toto's getting a tattoo. Which, we haven't been there yet, but I just learned newer, newer and newer stuff here. Is that's an actual clue. That's pretty cool. And hey, can anyone out there help me get into the Maritime Union? Hey, we're into organizing labor, not sabotaging labor. And let's do our poem reading here. Good evening. I like to read a poem. Let's see. And these are just like random, random choices you can do. So let's pick one really start fast. The cracks in my skull. <laughs> the phone is for me. I can't bear it. Ashes to ashes. Can you hear me saying nothing? Ignore, Ignore me. me. The phone, phone is for me. me. <laughs> Can you see what I'm smelling? Nothing. Bam. This is, this is deep. And they hiss at you. Gracias. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. Alright, so let's solve this puzzle real fast. If you remember, we'll get our wartime letters from Salvador. And you just gotta use it on them. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Mones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Mones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. And then all you have to do is... Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. And that's how you get the book. And this is a kind of a communist manifesto thing. But um, as of right now, we are running out of time. So I'm going to pause it right here and be back as soon as I can. And I promise, I promise you I'll make a bunch more of these because... I feel bad for not making them. So anyway, I'm going to get off, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.